getting serious. Now we're at level three for our 13 nine tutorial, all right? So here's what I'm gonna ask you to do to make this level, the, to take it to the next level. When you're moving your inversions of these 13 nine chords, and if you're not sure about what I'm talking about, go back and watch the other videos. I'll link to them around here or whatever. But uh, the first two will help you. But as you're playing those 13 and nine chord sets, what you'll notice is that your hand, your hand starts working its way up the keyboard. And at some point it's starting to sound a little brittle and you want to be sure that you can get back. So think about ways you can get back. So you could basically play this indefinitely. So what I'm really asking you to do, one of the things I'm asking you to do in this level is to make sure that you can jump your hand down an octave and keep the beat. Don't drop the beat, you know. tricks here to sort of disguise the fact that I'm jumping. So I'm jumping around a little bit here and then a little bit there, kind of putting some tape over stuff. But make sure that you can control, basically, more or less, your hands into the right area of the keyboard. So these chords sound nice and juicy, middle of the keyboard, maybe even a little bit left of the keyboard. Especially if you've got soloists going on top, you don't want to be stepping on their toes, all right? So inversions or at least jumping octaves there. And the other thing I want to throw at you here is a seven flat nine flat 11 chord. Oh my gosh, what's that? Let me show you what we got going on here. As you're playing through these sets, 13, nine, F13, F9, F13, F9. What's happening here is it goes, you want to hear it. It's like rising up and up. It's beautiful, I think but it doesn't have an end, it's kind of stressful, right? When are we gonna end? And here's how we're gonna end, like this. Oh, yeah. And then we end up a fourth. Your ear, hopefully. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, yeah, oh yeah, there we're there. There we are, there we are. So what's going on there is if you think about your uh, 13 chord, instead of moving to the 9 chord, you know, where you move the top two notes down, to get to the 7 flat 9 flat 11 chord, what you're going to do is you're just going to think about these, these middle two notes in your right hand, and you're just going to move them down half steps each. Oh, so easy. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful chord. La, la. And that sets you up to just and a fourth higher from the note that you're on. I wonder why. Why would it do that? I don't I don't know. I'm sure it has something to do with how close these notes are to the next part. Yeah, that's what's going on there. So you've got um and there you finally we've escaped that forever loop and now you have control of it. Oh yes, control. That's the name of the game. Guess what? I can throw that trick in there anywhere I want, like right here. Oh, so I can actually like change keys. Oh my goodness, this is incredibly powerful. Oh my god, I have to go and practice this more. And by the way, that's what you should do too, because if you're really ready for level four, then whoo, you're you're then you're doing your work. And if you're not ready for level four, get levels one through through three down really solid and come back for level four, because I'm gonna really challenge you at level four.